There is no better place to be than here, in your arms. You are my dream come true. One more gift. I just hope that you sound exactly this way on our 10th anniversary. Brian, don't you ever think I would walk away from you? Don't think it. Ever. I think that I have lived long enough to understand that change is inevitable when it comes to human nature. Ryan, look at me. Take a good look at me for some seconds. I am not going anywhere. I'm never going to leave you. I don't know what a soulmate is supposed to be like. I don't know what it feels like to have a soulmate. But the truth is, I love what I feel. You are the man after my heart. Can't you see it? Can't you see that? I am another person, another being when with you. I thank you for choosing me. This is forever. I love you endlessly. One more gift. One more gift. <laughs> okay, this. Uh, yeah, this one. Hey. All right. Oh. Well. Wow. Next. Okay. Uh oh. This is a fort. Is there someone from your side? Well, I see a letter. There's a letter attached to it. This is your daughter. <laughs> what is this about? This is what rubbish is this? I don't have a daughter. anything to do with her. I am hoping that by coming... Sorry? I know you know I know you know what I'm hoping that by becoming a, becoming a wife you will come to appreciate motherhood. I didn't think I would ever see her again. I was a child when she happened. I was made to choose between her and my future.
I presented myself like a book to you. So that you can flip through the pages of my life. Because I figured since I had truly fallen in love with you, and was going to get married to you. It's best that I come back. Jane, I came to you naked. Naked. I stood in front of you naked with my past. My present, and even my future, but you, could not find it in you yourself to tell me that you had a child. And so I wonder, is it that you do not love me? Or you do not find me worthy? Or you do not trust me enough with your truth? <laughs> I was only 15 then. I was a 15 year old teenager when it happened. A 15 year old teenager who was raped on a party she shouldn't have gone. <laughs> My father was quite strict. He would have thrown me out of the house. He would have thrown you and your wife. I was only 15 when it happened. Oh. <laughs> I was not right in my boy, eh? Cry dilemma. <laughs> That's the usual excuse for situations like this. You know, I had been quite unfortunate with women before I met you. You know, after I met you, I said a prayer in Thanksgiving because I believed. Also, I thought that with you, I finally put it right. But alas, <laughs> ah, Jane. No, 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 Brian. Brian, no. You got it right with me. Baby, baby, look at me. You got it right with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry.
keep my flowers, just you and I. Wash it by your tears, just you and I. Everything you do is just you and I. You. I bless the day that I met you. You are my world, you are my sunshine. Heaven smiled at me when you said I do. Yes, I know you do. Yes, I've been dreaming and I've been praying of the very day when you say I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, yes, I've been dreaming and I've been praying of the very day when you say I do. supposed to have told you that I was raped at 15 on our first date. <sighs> Apparently, getting raped is the new cool, right? So I... Yes, I was stupid to be ashamed of sharing that sensitive information. Oh yeah, that's right. That is right. Because to love is to trust wholesomely with all your beauties and ugly. Now that's love. To love is to be lovable. No one is attracted to darkness. Brian, let's get real for once. You need a conscience. You think I'm a monster? I don't know. But I think. 
But I know that I'm scared. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of a woman who has no love for her own child. I wonder how she's able to say that she loves other people. I love my child. If I didn't love her, I wouldn't have been through the most humiliating and painful nine months of my life just to keep her alive. Are you keeping her? Oh, yes. I am part of the reason she's still breathing. Go ahead. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a round of applause for making the biggest sacrifice in the history of mankind for your child. Do it. Brian. Brian, what exactly do you want from me? You want me to be miserable over the past mistakes of my life? I have been through a lot in life. And I think I deserve all the happiness without letting the past mistakes of my life to ruin me. Get real, Jane. Get real. We all can agree that there is almost nothing we can do to change our past. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to please stop trying to bury what does not need to stay buried. Take your child back. No. Why? Things are better this way. For who? For you? For you, for I, for her. For everyone. You know, if you can stand there and deny, you won't see it. If you can do this without a strand of your hair, Feeling any kind of guilt, I wonder, Jane, I wonder where I stand in your life. I loved you. I love you, I loved you, I still love you. The reason I married you. You're hurting us, you're hurting me. You married me, so what? You love me, so what? You say you love your daughter, yet you're so comfortable keeping her away. I hope you can see now that your love comes with no assurance. Ian, you are hurting me. You are hurting me. But you took two weeks leave off work. 
Yes, for my honeymoon. But since the honeymoon isn't happening again, I guess it is high time I got back to work. You'd have to take those clothes off because you're not going anywhere. Is that right? Oh yes. Very right. You must understand that I am your husband and that my opinion matters in this relationship. Have I ever questioned your opinion even while we were dating? How about when I asked you to take your daughter back? How about you knowing that it, this is not your decision to make? She is not your child! She is my stepdaughter. You're being delusional right about now. You're the one being delusional, my darling. You never knew she existed up until a week ago. And that would mean that I'd be negligent. She is not your responsibility. How about you focus this energy on making your own child? Just maybe, maybe you won't go about trying to get other people's child from them. I have cold feet. Making a baby with a woman who knows nothing about motherhood. Then let's get a divorce. Say that one more time. I thought so. Take these things off. Who is the father of your daughter, Jane? I don't. <laughs> okay, what's her name? I didn't get the chance to give her a name. Bloody hell. Well, now you have the chance to, to make everything right. activist. 
I run an NGO that caters to widows. And you think that I would sit back and watch my own suffer? Oh, Virgin, have you wondered the present condition of that child? Does she look like she's seen hell? Does she look like she's known hell? You are going to ascertain the wellness of that child by just one photograph. That could have been photoshopped, by the way. Is that how naive you are? She's my child, not yours. Get a hold of yourself. You have to talk to someone. Since both of us won't listen to ourselves, I suggest we seek the advice of a marriage counselor. Interesting. So you'd rather speak to a therapist than talk to your own daughter? Hmm? Brian, what is really wrong with you? Hmm? Why are you being difficult? How am I being difficult? No, I should be asking what your problem is. Is it that you've not been listening to me? My position on this matter is really simple. I'm saying that no one, no man, no woman should stay away from their own child, their own seed, without talking to them. I mean, it's wicked. It's devilish. It's, it's a travesty. It's savage. Brian, what if I had aborted her? Should I have been comfortable with never knowing her? Can you stop justifying I gave her life despite the pressures of life. I, I suffered for her. And trust me, this pressure was solid. I made sure that I gave her up so she could have a good shot at life. Are you not even curious to know how she turned out after all these years? You know, what she looks like, what her potentials are. That's your child. You know? I made a promise never to go for her. And I'm not turning back on that promise. You know, we're meant to believe that the bond between a mother and a child is stronger than anything else in this world. I was never her mother, not even for a day. So, where would this bond come from? In your womb, you carried her for nine months. You're her mother. Brian, you're beginning to give me a mini heart attack. I don't want to sleep here tonight. You are going to sleep here. Let me tell you something. No one is going to storm off on anyone. We're not barbarians. We're human beings. It's okay for you and I to disagree. Okay? And then we can leave. But if we must leave, we must leave respectfully. We're not animals. Are you saying that you do not want to sleep here tonight. And of course you know that's a lie. The moment you agreed to say yes to me as your husband was the moment you agreed to share your bed with me for the rest of your life. I agree. I absolutely agree with you. My body, my soul, everything belongs to you. But please, if you want to share this bed with me, then be a husband. 
thought I told you not to run off. Right, please, let's get your hand off me, please. You're hurting me. Why are you angry? But I'm getting us to talk about your child rather than having sex with you in different positions. Brian, please. No, I'm asking you. I want you to know. Please, Brian. Please, Brian, you no. what are you doing? No, I want us to have sex. No, Brian. No, please. that's what we should be. We should be Brian, having, no! We should be having sex. What are you doing? Get your hands, you're hurting me! In this How am I hurting you? You're hurting me, Brian! You oh my god! You Brian, you please you don't, you don't do this. What you don't want to have sex? No, 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 you don't want to have sex. No, no please, please! But you don't want to have sex. Brian, no, 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 Yes, I've been dreaming and I've been praying on the very day when you say I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, in this game of love, it's just you and I. Whatever you do, it's just you and I. And everything you do, is just you and I. You, you. In this game of love, it's just you and I. Whatever you do is just you and I. Everything you do is just you and I. You. She came out of you. She's been adopted by another family, don't you get it? <laughs> if you think giving up my baby for adoption makes me evil, divorce me. And tonight, take no, It hasn't come to this Ring baby stuff. And send me out of your house. No. I would never do that. You're my wife. I don't know who I am to you. I don't know who I am to you. I don't know what I am to you. Seven days ago, yes, I was sure. I was sure who and what I am to you. But right about now, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I have dashed your dreams of being the perfect woman. It's going to sound absurd because no one really is perfect. No! You're perfect. Brian, you're perfect. So perfect. Leave me with my imperfection.
Take my flowers, just you and I Watch the fire you do, it's just you and I Everything you do is just you and I Yes, I know you do. Yes, I've been dreaming and I've been praying of the very day when you say I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, yes, I've been dreaming and I've been praying of the very day when you say I do. painful memories and I'm sorry I'm very sorry that wasn't the only time hmm? what I did have this guy in school then I developed um a phobia for sex. I told him, I explained to him to wait up until I was ready. And he accepted. He agreed to my terms. But one day, I guess he couldn't wait anymore. Lost himself on you. That was my fault. Again. <sighs> I I had spent the night at his place. Though that wasn't the first time I slept at his place, but that was the last. So what did you do afterwards? I disappeared. I disappeared into thin air. I, 
I was ashamed. I just couldn't face anyone in school. Even though I was the victim. Oh. You have a lot of memory in here, you know. You have a lot of memory inside. I love you, Brian. I love you so much and I am in no doubt that you love me too. I know it is not every man that would accept to get married before sex. It's not like either of us are virgins, but you agreed to my terms, you waited. You are a good However, I am not going to back down on my decision. That's not okay. That's not okay. That's not acceptable. I'm going to have children. And our kids would be related to her by blood. They deserve to know her. They deserve to meet her. They will be siblings. Think about it. trying I'm trying but I just cannot help myself 
I catch myself wondering who sent you the note. It doesn't have a name on it. No address. No contact number, nothing. And it could not have been the people that you gave her to. So I'm just wondering who this person is who who really is keen on reminding you that you have a child somewhere. Brian, what is wrong with you? I don't know. What is your obsession with this girl? You are intentionally breaking our marriage. Can't you see it? Do you have a medical condition that I should know of? Are you incapable of having kids of your own? Because I don't understand this obsession. I just want you to do the right thing, Jane. I remember we agreed never to storm out on each other again, but please permit me to storm out right now. Because I would regret what next I would say. Excuse me. There's a reason for the obsession. Six years ago, I, I denied a young lady who was pregnant for me because I was having an illicit affair with a married woman who was powerful enough to destroy my life's work if I, if I messed up our secret affair. <laughs> and so I chose my career. over my unborn child because I'm a selfish bastard. That wasn't my case. Mine was different. I had a choice. I had a choice to kill or give her up for adoption. But guess what? I went with what was in her best interest. But yours, yours was an abortion. Mine was worse. You cannot write your wrong through me. It is wrong. You cannot appease your conscience by forcing me to accept my daughter. Hold on a second. <laughs> it just occurred to me now that you, you revealed to me that you have a child you know about. Yet you kept it a secret from me. And here you are dragging me for not telling you my entire story. He died.
Monte Gay die. It was a fire accident. He was just six. Lived with his grandmother. Because his mother had to get back to her herself. Did you, did you at least get to see him before he died? I just tried to them down. And as you would expect, it was fireworks from the mother. And I apologized. I apologized profusely for my stupidity. We made plans. We made plans to see him. I was excited. About gifts. We had picked a date that weekend to go see him at the grandma's place. And unfortunately, the accident happened on a Thursday. And I couldn't see him. I'm so sorry, I, I can't even imagine how you must have felt. It's my fault. If I had lived up to my responsibility as a father, he would have still been alive. He was just six years old, you know. And all I have tried to do is find some peace within myself through connecting you with your daughter. You're so minor and different. Mm. I did not abandon my daughter. I, I put her up for adoption. I know. I, listen, I'm not saying this because I am desperate to end this drama. No, I'm not. Oh, well, yes, I am. But she's in better hands. I am not worried about her, so you shouldn't be. This has been one hell of a honeymoon. Yeah, not for once, huh? So what next now? What what's next for us? <laughs> huh? What's next? So what do you want? I want to look at you and not be reminded that you have a daughter somewhere. Just 
Still of this. It's, it's been a week. Listen, I'm not no longer upset with you, but it is just hard to look at you and not be reminded that you have a daughter somewhere that you have refused to meet. Brian. Brian, it's been a week. Why are you doing this to me? This is this is eating me up. It's it's beginning to drain me mentally. give you some time to think if you still want this or not. <laughs> uh, you must really think that this is when we were dating, where you just walk out, walk back. I need a break. <laughs> I am losing my mind. I am losing my mind. After I came to see your people and I paid your bride price, did your people call you back to tell you that I owed them anything? They do not owe me. I still can do whatever I want and whenever it pleases me! Brian, it is our honeymoon. We deserve all the happiness we can get. Enough with the punishment. Please. Let's face our new lives together. I beg you. 
Why are you kneeling? You've been ignoring me. If I have something to say to you, I say to you, how have I ignored you? Brian, what is your interest in this girl? Why are we still talking about this issue? I thought you said that we we forget the issue and forget about it and focus on us. Oh, baby, you did not accept it. Did you accept my opinion? I I put ourselves in the shoes of that family. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of that family. Let's imagine if we're the ones who adopted that girl. Then someone calls us out of the blue, introduces herself as her biological mother and tells us she wants her baby back. How would you feel, Brian? Let's forget this girl, please. She belongs to somewhere else. Please. Our honeymoon, baby, it is our honeymoon. You know what? Let's forget about this and just let's live in dog's life. The girl. Sent in the picture and letter. Her name is Christabel. And she's my sister. to speak with someone. And you called her? Are you stupid? Do you know how that makes me look? Makes me look like I failed. But barely one week in this thing and you, 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 you're bringing my family in what we cannot settle a simple dispute? How insensitive and stupid can you be? Brian, Brian, listen to me. It is fine to be upset. It is fine to be mad. I mean, you can be mad as much as you want, but what I won't tolerate is you calling me names. Oh. Are you giving me ultimatums now? Huh? You're going to tell me how to talk? How to express my pain and frustration? Actually, the stupid one here. Can't you see that you are wrecking this marriage? Can you not see it? And the painful part of it is that it is all for nothing. You see, this is exactly why I can't get past this. You calling your own blood nothing. You refer to your own blood as nothing. Oh. Who are you, Jade? Who really are you? 